Buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are in front of you from Argentina. Our guest speaker, Emilio, will inform how his Ramadan is in his home country. Enjoy. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Uh, my name is Abdul Wakil Siko. I live in Argentina. Uh, I'm a journalist. I became Muslim uh, 12 years ago. Uh, I started uh, writing an article about Sufis in Latin America and I became very interested in the subject. So uh, I, I took Shahada uh, in Buenos Aires and from then on I started getting interested and interested in Islam and started also uh, making Dawa in the mass media in Latin America. And Alhamdulillah, I had the chance, mashallah, to to visit Mecca twice and, 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 uh, and uh, do Hajj, mashallah. Uh, okay, the one. Since Argentina is a country with majority of Christians, uh, Ramadan are spent the same as in non-Muslim country. Uh, even though uh, we try to spend uh, iftar with friends, with, with brothers, and uh, since we don't live in Buenos Aires, in the capital city, we live in Lobos, in a town uh, 100 kilometers from Buenos Aires, we try to, to visit them uh, every time we can and spend iftar with them. And uh, there's a few, very few activities, special activities during Ramadan here. Uh, I remember one of the most uh, I became attracted is a, a popular radio program is conducted by Chef Moxenali, who has been conducting this program for over I think more than 25 years. Mashallah. Uh, we try to uh, spend time with family also. We try to read Quran. We we try to read Hadith with with my wife. Uh, and always try to hear, hear the softness of our, our shape also. Uh, and we try, she, she normally in, during Ramadan uh, cooks some special meat. It's, uh, it's like kind of, we call it guiso, uh, with a special meat called osobuco. I will bring you the recipe to, to, for you to cook it. Next year, I will love to spend, inshallah, Ramadan in Istanbul, in Turkey. I love the city and also there's the city where my Sheikh uh, Muhammad Adil Khatani lives. So if uh, Allah permitted it, inshallah, uh, we will try to spend next Ramadan with him. We had the chance to spend with him, uh, I think it was three years ago, Ramadan in Cyprus. And it was a wonderful experience, even though it was in summertime and in the fasting was very long. But it was, uh, mashallah, it was a very uh, wonderful experience to, to be with him and spend Ramadan with all the shamat there, mashallah. Islam is the religion of peace and has given us guidance in every aspect of life. Islam has given us education and knowledge which has no limits. One of the most asp important aspects of Islam is education. Knowledge and education are highly emphasized in Islam. Our faith has made it a duty upon every Muslim, male or female, to gain knowledge. This is considered to be a superior act of worship in Islam. Knowledge is the most important thing in one's life. Education makes a person a th critical thinker and an efficient decision maker. Without education, the training of the human mind is incomplete. Education is therefore a starting point for every successful human activity. Knowledge is not only limited to religious knowledge, but it can be all forms of knowledge. Education is the knowledge of putting one's potential to a maximum use. Without education, no one can find the proper right path in this world. Acquiring knowledge enables Muslims to get a better perception and understanding of the world around us and makes us more conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam in theory, as well as in practice, has always promoted knowledge. Islam attaches such importance of knowledge and education because the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not only preach about the importance of knowledge, but he actually gave practical examples to promote knowledge as well. 
One of the criteria of releasing the prisoners of war was that Muhammad وسلم, asked that whoever was literate amongst these prisoners would go free if they taught 10 Muslim children how to read and write. This is just one of many examples. There are many great examples of many scholars in Islamic history. For example, Aisha, the daughter of Abu Bakr, is one of the most influential women in the teachings of Islam. Her great knowledge in Islam has allowed her to play a central role in the political, societal, and educational sectors. She was one of the main narrators of the Hadith. She guided many righteous people to Islam and allows us Muslims today to be able to learn and attain knowledge. This example shows the importance of having knowledge and how it can not only benefit yourself, but others as well. Knowledge has been and is still emphasized greatly in Islam. The very first verse that descended on the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was Iqra, meaning read in Arabic. This opened the doors to reading, writing, and pondering. The Quran urges us, Muslims, to do so. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, also encourages Muslims to acquire knowledge and share it. It can be seen through the hadith as he says, Acquire knowledge, for he who acquires it in the way of Allah performs an act of piety. He who speaks of it praises the Lord. He who seeks it adores Allah. And he who dispenses it instructions in it bestows alms. And he who imparts it to others performs an act of devotion to Allah. Bukhari Muslim يا جميل يا الله يا قريب يا الله يا مجيب يا الله يا حبيب يا الله يا رؤوف يا الله يا عطوف يا الله يا معروف يا الله يا لطيف يا الله يا عظيم يا الله يا حنان يا الله يا منان يا الله يا ديان يا الله يا سبحان يا الله يا أمان يا الله يا برهان يا الله يا سلطان يا الله يا مستعان يا الله يا محسن يا الله يا متعالي يا الله يا رحمن يا الله يا رحيم يا الله يا كريم يا الله يا مجيد يا الله يا فرد يا الله يا ود يا الله يا أحد يا الله يا صمد يا الله يا محمود يا الله يا صادق الوعد يا الله يا علي يا الله يا غني يا الله يا شافي يا الله يا كافي يا الله يا معافي يا الله يا باقي يا الله يا هادي يا الله يا قادر يا الله يا ساتر يا الله يا قهار يا الله يا جبار يا الله يا غفار يا الله يا فتاح يا الله يا عدتي عند شدتي يا رجائي عند مصيبتي يا مؤنسي عند وحشتي يا صاحبي عند غربتي يا ولي عند نعمتي يا كاشف عند كربتي يا غياثي عند افتقاري يا ملجئي عند اضطراري يا معيني عند فزعي يا دليلي عند حيرتي سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا علام الغيوب يا 
يا غفار الذنوب يا ستار العيوب يا كشاف الكروب يا مقلب القلوب يا مزين القلوب يا منور القلوب يا طبيب القلوب يا حبيب القلوب يا أنيس القلوب سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار واسألك بأسمائك يا جليل يا جميل يا وكيل يا كفيل يا دليل يا مقيل يا خبير يا لطيف يا عزيز يا مليك سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا دليل المتحيرين يا غياث المستغيثين يا صريخ المستصرخين يا جار المستجيرين يا ملجأ العاصين يا غافر المذنبين يا أمان الخائفين يا راحم المساكين يا أنيس المستوحشين يا مجيب دعوة المضطرين سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا ذا الجود والإحسان يا ذا الفضل والامتنان يا ذا الأمن والأمان يا ذا القدس والسبحان يا ذا الحكمة والبيان يا ذا الرحمة والرضوان يا ذا الحجة والبرهان يا ذا العظمة والسلطان يا ذا العفو والغفران يا ذا الرأفة والمستعان سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا من هو رب كل شيء يا من هو إله كل شيء يا من هو خالق كل شيء يا من هو فوق كل شيء يا من هو قبل كل شيء يا من هو بعد كل شيء يا من هو عالم كل شيء يا من هو قادر كل شيء يا من هو صانع كل شيء يا من هو يبقى ويفنى كل شيء سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار واسألك بأسمائك يا مؤمن يا مهيمن يا مكون يا ملقن يا مبين يا مهون يا مزين يا معظم يا معون يا ملون سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا من هو في ملكه مقيم يا من هو في جلاله عظيم يا من هو في سلطانه قديم يا من هو على عبده رحيم يا من هو بكل شيء عليم يا من هو لمن جفاه حليم يا من هو لمن ترجاه كريم يا من هو في مقاديره حكيم يا من هو في حكمه لطيف يا من هو في لطفه قدير سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا من لا يرجى إلا فضله يا من لا يخاف إلا عدله يا من لا ينتظر إلا بره يا من لا يسأل إلا عفوه يا من لا يدوم إلا ملكه يا من لا سلطان إلا سلطانه يا من لا برهان إلا برهانه يا من وسعت كل شيء رحمته يا من سبقت رحمته على غضبه 
يا من أحاط بكل شيء علمه سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار يا فارج الهم يا كاشف الغم يا غافر الذنب يا قابل التوب يا خالق الخلق يا صادق الوعد يا رازق الطفل يا موفي العهد يا عالم السر يا فالق الحب سبحانك يا لا إله إلا أنت الأمان الأمان خلصنا من النار الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله هيا للسلا هيا للسلا هيا للفلاح هيا للفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Buenas noches a todos. Good night, everyone. Muchas gracias. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on Wednesday from Kenya. Bye.